Good morning, brothers. Good morning, Mike. Thank you so much for welcoming the new guys. Um, I'll have a close look when I get home. I just uh, started on the road this morning. It's uh, 7.30 in the morning. I've been on the road for an hour and a half. Uh, I'll get home this evening. But I had to, uh, as I started out, listen to the Marco Polos. And, oh, man, fellas, I am loving this slow journey through Galatians. It's so important for us, so important, especially this point that Mike draws out of verse 10. We are all by nature, aren't we, people pleasers. I know I am. Uh, that's my nature, to please people, to do for them so that they will think I'm good, so that, oh, Rob did this, isn't he wonderful? I'm looking for the approval of men, by nature. Um, it, doesn't, it doesn't get us anywhere except part of the in crowd, maybe, uh, until somebody knifes somebody else in the back. <laughs> I've been in the business world uh, too many years to know that you can, uh, you can go too far uh, pleasing everybody. Eventually, uh, eventually the knives come out. So it's, it's no gospel at all, uh, following men, none at all. It'll all come to nothing. I got a picture, as Mike read that, I had a picture of Jesus. Um, he suffered outside the camp. I immediately went to uh, Hebrews 13, 13, uh, 12 and 13, that Jesus suffered outside the gate in order to sanctify the people through his own blood. Paul is following him outside, becoming an outsider. Um, and the amazing thing is, is we, we don't actually have to commit to all sorts of behaviours and perfections in order to please God. We have to believe in that incredible fellas. Isn't that just stunning? Uh, John 6, 29, you know, this is the work that God requires of you to believe in the one he sent, as Mike has been saying. Uh, and he will, he will perfect us. He will do good works in and through us. Um, so Hebrews 13 was where I went, Mike, after reading Galatians 1.10, uh, all the way from verse 9 through to 13. Essentially, yeah, we can just be set free from pleasing people. Oh, how glorious that is, to be free. Verse 9, do not be led away by diverse and strange teachings, and the whole world is filled with that. For it's good for the heart to be strengthened by grace not by foods which have not benefited those devoted to them. I spent many, many years uh, trying to keep all dietary rules as well as others in, in early church. We have an altar from which those who serve the tent have no right to eat. We have an altar, brothers, the cross of Jesus Christ. And he's welcomed us right to the throne of his father he's right there right now interceding advocating for you and me and he goes on to talk about the, the futility of the systems of man and then concludes so Jesus also suffered outside the gate in order to sanctify the people through his own blood oh let's remember that every time we're tempted to be agreeable to man's doctrines. Let's remember Jesus who suffered outside the gate. And those people inside the gate who were following their own ways, he did this for them. And he offended them. And he still offends the world. But he loves them. Therefore let us go to him outside the camp 
and bear the reproach he endured. You know, it's a pretty high calling. We're going to have to endure the same reproach. But oh, we have companionship with the Lamb of God. He paid the price for all our sin, brothers. Oh, what joy. What joy. Ah, it's good to be back online. I've had a uh, pretty lousy internet connection. <laughs> had nothing while I was at my mum's and little patchy bits here and there. Um, I love you, fellas. I love to hear from you. Uh, God bless you.